Hi guys. Give everybody a chance to jump on. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Live with Carla Nicole show. This is the manifestation series. Hey Terry, welcome. Welcome. So I want everybody on here today to get your notebooks, your pads, and your pens. And I'm going to dive in today about how to beat the bully inside. So that you can begin to manifest what you so desire. Manifesting is not the easiest thing to accomplish, but you can, and it takes many steps to do so. Um, the steps are not hard to take, but you have to be extremely intentional when you do take those steps. And so when you truly understand the power you have when you sit back and you pay attention to manifesting what it is you need and want and desire, you must take the time to really pay attention to what it is you need, want, and desire. But before that, you have to first beat the bully on the inside of you and just um, get rid of it altogether. Really, truly get rid of it. And, and it's not hard to do, it just takes time it takes um, dedication and commitment. First of all, let me let me also put you up on game about something. A lot of times we, we want to desire certain things, we want to have certain things. We can find ourselves looking and searching for um, ways to accomplish things. And we can even be moved, right? We can be moved to want to do certain things and then something on the inside tells us you're not going to be able to do that. And what's always the main, what's the main bully, right? What's the main bully? What's, what's something that you think? We constantly tell ourselves that we cannot do something or manifest something. What is the number one thing we say? Well, we don't have what? Time, right? I don't have time to do that. I cannot do that because I cannot devote time. Or I cannot devote, I cannot devote um, any type of commitment of time to get things done because I have other things that are basically more a priority. But what we're not realizing is even when we sit down and believe this in our minds and hearts, that is a bully in your heart and mind convincing you that you don't have the ability to accomplish something. You do not have the ability to um, to cultivate what it is you truly desire and want and need for yourself. And that's, this is why it's so important that we sit down and we really start paying attention to what it is. Hey, love. So it's so important. We got to sit back and start paying attention. What is it that we really want? And what is it we really desire? And then in that, in that point of view, are we willing to shut what we say in here down are we willing to quiet the voice that's telling us we cannot do something are we willing to take advantage of saying hey you gotta go i gotta beat this out i gotta beat this out of me i can no longer be okay and and be fine with mediocrity in my life i can't do it anymore and so we constantly say we cannot do something but we often say it's because of time. So let's think about something for a minute. Hey Dave, happy Sunday to you, love. So let's think about something real fast. There's 24 hours in a day. And nine times out of 10, there's 16 waking hours in a day. And a lot of times we devote a lot of time to stuff that has nothing to do with manifesting what we truly want and desire. 
we're not even willing to wake up a little bit early to manifest what we really want in our life. We're not willing to get up. I love my sleep, okay? But do understand, sometimes you gotta sacrifice some things. So you may have to sacrifice two or three hours out your sleep to manifest what it is you want and so desire. So, so when we say we can't do something, it's not that we can't, it's that we won't do something. So we have to start changing the dialogue inside of ourselves, inside of our hearts and minds, and learn how to change what we say to ourselves that's stopping us from becoming the best version of ourselves. And that's, that's not hard, but it's very, you have to become very intentional on how to do this. First of all, you have to go and do a complete sweep of your mind, heart, and body, and soul. You gotta sweep all of that. Any negativity, even people. Sometimes you're gonna have to just get rid of people. Last week we talked about your environment. You have to get rid of people that are not inspiring you to be the best version of yourself. Get rid of them. They're bullies. They're not helping you to become the best version of you. They gotta go. Simple as that. Now, when it comes to you beating out the bully inside of you, you first have to take a little, a little um, stroll down memory lane. Was there people in your life that used to tell you you couldn't do something, you won't amount to nothing, you aren't good enough, you can't do something? You know, because understand something, words that we allow to penetrate in our heart and mind can destroy our own drive to become the best version of ourselves. It can kill it, I'm telling you. So you have to sit back and take a memory, you gotta take a, a drive down memory lane and go back into your memory and think about who said that you are not able or unable to become the best version of yourself. And then you have to then challenge yourself to asking yourself, why did you allow them to stop that? Why did you allow them to stop or stifle you from doing what you needed to do? And then in that process, you need to now go back and have a conversation with yourself and start saying, oh no, these words won't allow me any longer from this day forward to um, basically suppress me becoming the best version of myself because I'm gonna be damned. I'm not gonna allow it no more. I'm gonna give you an example. Um, I remember I was probably in about either first grade or second and I was told that I could not comprehend. And again, you know, back then in those days, you know, that's in the 70s. So of course, you know, our young little black children, we weren't really uh, inspired to be the best version of ourselves at that time. But they would write it on all my paperwork. Oh, she can't, she can't comprehend, she doesn't understand, she won't be able to, she has a hard time with, with uh, with reading and all kinds of other stuff, just all kinds of stuff. Do you know that that comment or that very um, statement that was constantly put in my mind and heart and spirit did not get lifted until I ended up becoming a mother? I didn't even realize that I did not have a comprehension problem. <laughs> But I allow for someone to tell me that, to be okay with believing that, and then allowed it to, what, hinder me from advancing into who I could become. I write, I do a lot of things now. So at the end of the day, I'm always constantly advancing and writing and, and doing this, what I do now. But had I allowed those words that I won't amount to becoming the best version of myself, I wouldn't be able to do this that I'm doing right now. I wouldn't be able to talk to you or encourage people or try to help transform lives. I couldn't do none of that because I would have continued to believe that I'm not going to transform, that I'm not going to elevate, that I'm unable to comprehend or understand something. So why I'm saying it's so important that we take these words and understand that words are detrimental to, negative words are detrimental to inspiring you to become the best version of you. So with that said, I want you to think about something. You have to go down into this, into your memory bank and find out who it was that said those things to you. 
because nine times out of ten we're imitated so we take what we hear and then we just keep allowing that to continue to go in our minds and we might not even consciously know it we're just okaying it we're, we're giving a stamp of approval like that's that's true that's correct yes i believe that and then what does that do it stops you from advancing into the best version of yourself so this is why it's important to beat out the bully inside you by telling yourself no I will not allow these words anymore to, to stop me. You have to now take what you have on the inside of you and decide, I'm going to now elevate out of this, 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 this so-called, um, I don't know what we would call that, you're kind of like in a stagnation. You're stagnant, you're not moving, you're not, you're not progressing. And when you're not moving and progressing, what's happening is you're okaying and approving that that's okay to be lethargic in your life. And, and you cannot do that anymore. We've got to advance out of that. But the only way to do that is to go down memory lane and find out who that bully was. And you allow them to continue to have that effect on you. And then after that, you have to build up your confidence. What I said last night, I don't know if you guys were on with me last night. I had a very, a very um, grown and sexy conversation. But I'm going to share something with you. You know, my baby son, he's 11, and he used to have a fear of going in the basement. Hey, Denise! He used to have a fear of going in the basement alone without the dog with him. And one time I pulled him to the side and I said, what are you afraid of? You don't have to have Marley go downstairs with you. There's nothing in this home that's going to hurt or harm you. I got the spiritual covered, and you have a spiritual covering on your own. Any evil entity or anything like that, you have power over that. You don't have to be fearful in your own home. You live here. Marley can't help you anyway. What's Marley going to do? So I recently noticed that he's been going down and washing clothes and not asking Marley to come down with him anymore. So he beat the bully on the inside, right? Prime example of what we have to do. We got to go into that darkness and stop being afraid of just tackling what we fear the most. Be it as it may, we might be scared to just, I don't know scared to go on stage scared to talk to someone scared to scared to mentor someone and and then but yet you have everything you this person needs to elevate in their life and you are not becoming the best version of yourself so it's vitally important that we sit back and we start to pay attention to how we can beat the bully and we can beat the bully very simply gaining your confidence facing your fears and doing the work just that simple so again like i said you guys have to have your notebooks and pads because it's very important that you um take notes on what i'm telling you and also do the work on the inside of you begin to change what you say to yourself when you start to desire to do something be it that you should write or go out and grab your camera and start taking pictures because you're a really a really good photographer or or you need to to get um, motivated to be a, a, a motivational speaker or whatever it is you want to be become and do rather than making excuses as to why you cannot do them start to make slots of time that you can do those things it's very easy just start making slots of time be it if it's an hour two hours get up a little early stay up a little later just to devote time to manifesting what it is you so desire to to become and what you so desire to do and then that way it will start you will start to drum up the desire and drum up the the um not only drum up the desire but you'll also become the consistent because remember last week satori talked about how important it is that we start having patience and patterns are very important and um not only patterns, but habits. Habits. What are we doing to start walking in our purpose? We have to begin walking in our purpose by taking the time to start practicing what it is we need to do to make sure we're starting to manifest what it is we need to become. It's not hard to do. It's just vital that we do these things intentionally so that we can begin to advance in our manifestation. So I want you guys, like I said, take your time, but I want you guys to start paying attention to what you say to you. 
If you give yourself excuses like, well, I can't do something because I got kids or I can't do something because I got to work or I can't do, start, start telling yourself that there are things you can do, which is, oh, I can do this. I can take my time out of my day and start making some provisional changes. All I have to do is make a little time. And we have that, right? There's, like I said, there's 16 waking hours a day that we can actually advance what we want to do and start manifesting that. It's not hard. It just takes time. It takes intention. So tag your friends that are stagnant. Tag your friends that are not doing what they need to do. Start sending them these messages so they can get off the ball get on the ball, I'm sorry, and start moving in the, in, in the motion to become what they should be and not just be okay with being stagnant or, or, not, or just be, be, being okay with just being half-assed, <laughs> which is not okay. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, listen, I'm glad you guys joined me today. Um, if you have not yet signed up for Live with Carla Nicole group, Please go into Facebook and um, ask to become a member of the Live with Carla Nicole group. I'm very intimate with my group, and I'm very, um, I'm very active with making sure that my people that follow me are getting what they need. Also, I have a YouTube channel, Carla Nicole Wisdom Channel. Go over there today and subscribe to my channel. Okay. You can become a Wisdom Focus Group member. My Focus Group memberships are going crazy now, having a lot of members now. So I need you guys to join because joining the membership is one of the ways you can get more access to me. If you want to be a client of mine and you want me to start coaching you, that's fine. But one of the best ways to be a client is to get on here and become a Wisdom Focus Group member. And I will put the link in here on how to do that as well, okay? So I'm out of here, guys. Be sure to tag your friends. Make sure to share this video. I'm out of here. It's Carla Nicole. I'm signing off. Best kept. Have a great day. Bye.